John Curry's road back has been full of lessons learned. The new Wake Forest athletic director stopped by Sports Business Journal's offices to share his blueprint for success at his alma mater. Well, Wake Forest is a terrific institution. It's been on an ascendant trajectory for 185 years, and we want to keep the athletics program going in the same in the same manner. Curry's predecessors, Gene Hooks and Ron Wellman, led Wake Forest for five and a half decades combined. Now, the new head Demon Deacon is looking to build upon the foundation that they have set. We have great facilities that have been built over the last number of years, and we have a few that are almost finished, the Shaw Basketball Complex and the Sutton Center, um, adding to McCrary Fieldhouse, which is just a couple years old. Uh, we'll continue to look for opportunities in that regard. Um, we're going to continue to have great people. We have a lot of great coaches across the board. Um, having great coaches requires great resources, and so we have a resource uh, generation challenge, just like everybody else does. Despite being the smallest school in the Power Five, Curry believes that's a big advantage for the Winston-Salem, North Carolina-based school. Because of where we are in the state of North Carolina, which is really like one big neighborhood now, uh, right? But Wake Forest, uh, with a smaller alumni base than maybe some of the other schools in our league, um, really has an opportunity to be, um, we've got plenty of room for other folks that maybe aren't attached uh, to a specific uh, university. So even here in the city of Charlotte, where we have our second largest number of alumni uh, constituents, and we do have a campus of our university where we do MBA and some continuing education classes, we'll continue to increase our presence.